And I've had the privilege of working with uh, a large number of candidates and a large number of uh, members. And there's no one, no one in this riding who has ever accomplished what she has accomplished. Mm -hmm. She is a, a, a take charge person. You notice that before it all got started, she ordered all of us to move and we all moved. <laughs> I, have, I, I have one anecdote I've got to tell you, and Manick will hit me after, uh, after, I, after I tell you. Yeah, or, or before. I was at a provincial policy conference in Toronto, and uh, a very prominent uh, MPP, uh, Gerard Kennedy, came up and we chatted away. And Manick spied me talking to Gerard Kennedy, and as is her wont, she came over and said to Mr. Kennedy, may I apologize in advance for anything that Garth may say? <laughs> and uh, he said to me, you've known Manick since she was a, a, a little girl. And I said, yes, I have. He said, let me take a, make a wild guess. She was a bossy little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, there is not a job in politics more difficult than the MPP. Uh, what she's achieved in seven years or eight years has been absolutely magnificent. Uh, she's, uh, uh, people have tried, some people have tried to beat her up great, uh, uh, quite uh, regularly, but she has conducted herself uh, uh, with uh, just the, uh, so much class and so much integrity. I don't know what is lying ahead for her, but I know that uh, she will uh, do well and uh, she's not going to lose the sense of commitment, the sense of uh, social, social justice. And I know that she'll probably buy me a very nice gift after this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Manick, uh, well done. Your father will be incredibly proud of you, your mother is incredibly proud of you, and the rest of us here are pretty, pretty incredibly proud as well. Well done. <laughs>